So here you're going to use Hooke's law. We can say the uh, weight is going to be equal to k times the change in displacement in the y direction, or we can simply say k times h. The frequency of the oscillation would be f. This would be the reciprocal of the period, and this would be 1 over 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the spring constant divided by the mass. Uh, uh, similarly, we can find the frequency of oscillation for a simple pendulum. So f prime, this would be for the pendulum, equals 1 over t prime. This would be equal to 1 over 2 pi multiplied by the square root of g over l. And now if the frequency of the oscillation for the mass spring system equals the frequency of oscillation for the pendulum, we can then say that 1 over 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the spring constant divided by the mass equals 1 over 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the acceleration of gravity divided by the uh, length of the pendulum. We find that the length of the pendulum after canceling out 1 over 2 pi and the essentially canceling out the, uh, the uh, square roots, uh, L, the length would be the mass, the mass times the gravity or the weight divided by the spring constant. This would be equal to kh due to, again, due to New, uh, Newton's uh, law, Newton's second law and Hooke's law divided by k. And so L would be equal to h, and this would be equal to 2.00 centimeters for the length of the pendulum. This is our final answer. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.